Hello guys, I hope you're in a good mood, I'm in a good mood, and I'm full of excitement. Finally, the game I've been waiting for Night Crows is meeting us on March 12th. The quality MMORPG production itself, which is mobile and has a cross-platform. So what is this Night Crows that everyone is talking about? Let me explain it briefly. An action RPG set in medieval Europe, where different factions clash for power in mountainous regions. You can forge alliances, trade resources, and shape your destiny in a game based on the themes of oppression versus rebellion, order versus chaos, and light versus darkness. The game offers strategic gameplay with generous rewards. It's built entirely on the Unreal Engine 5, so you'll get stunning visuals and fluid gameplay, and you'll be able to master tactical battles on land, in the air, and in the water to experience beautiful gameplay. It has systems that will push the limits with a seriously mobile platform. With hosting big PVPs, you will be able to fly freely in the sky. There will even be 1000 vs 1000 battles with a little more boundaries. These are a few of the many courageous systems that many PC makers cannot do. For these reasons, it aroused a great curiosity in me, and I believe that it will not let us down. After all, I don't think it will be a failed production, since it is a game from Korea, the main country of MMORPG. In such big systems, there will be many automatic systems in the game due to the fact that it is mobile, this may be annoying for many of us. But if you are playing a mobile or cross-platform game, you shouldn't get stuck in them. What will be the pay-to-win status of the game? I think there will be a pay-to-win system in the European server as in the Korean server, but we cannot reach a definite conclusion already. It will also bring us a system called Tokenomics. So what is this Tokenomics? Tokenomics is a name they gave to bring us the NFT Web2 and Web3 based blockchain system. NFT and Omnicane will be available, and you will be able to earn big money in reality. In such games based on vMix, Korea is definitely successful in general, so we will be able to have good expectations in the near future. When you drop NFTs with uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and mythical rarity that we drop in the game, you can directly sell it and convert it to the Crow token of the game in current amounts. As for the gameplay, there are automation systems such as automatic hunting, automatic questing, and a central market system that can only be purchased with premium currency. Therefore, I advise you not to invest money in the game at the beginning. After trying the game and getting to know the systems, you can act accordingly if you enjoy the progress and want to earn money. And it is definitely not investment advice. Pre-registrations are currently open for the game. If any of you have not registered, you can register quickly from the link I have given in the description section, and you can get these rewards you have seen when the game opens. I'm also sharing two coupon codes which you can find in the description. Of course, you will be able to use them after the game opens. Early applications are open for creators who wish to become official publishers and are available on the SSS website. Broadcasters who submit early applications to the email addresses they have entered and whose applications are reviewed and approved after the official release of the SSS will receive the Black Wings of Freedom Glider as a reward application for creators who want to grow. You will also need to download the Twilio Authy Human Verification app no later than March 11. After opening the app, create an account by entering your registered email and phone number. After the game opens, a QR code scan will be required to verify that you are not a bot. When the game comes out, I will make a first look gameplay video. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content. See you in the next video. Bye bye.